Hi everybody, it's Miss Wallace here. I'm just going to run you through a really quick process that you can use to help you create a repeat pattern. We're going to start off with something as simple as cutting out shapes, but you're going to be able to produce something that is quite sophisticated. All you're going to need today is access to some paper, scissors, pencils and PowerPoint. Make sure to look back at your design investigation so that what you produce today is relevant to that. I've selected to work with green paper and you can see I'm starting to draw out one of the shapes from my motif. We want to create multiples of the same shape so the easiest way to do that is fold your paper up several times and cut around the shape just once. Repeat this step as many times as you need so that you have multiples of all the shapes you need from within your motif. Right, you are now ready to begin laying these out in interesting arrangements. I would try to use a background colour that is quite opposite to whatever paper you've been using. This just helps for the stage later on. Once you're happy with how you've arranged it, um, go ahead and take a photograph of that. The great thing with this technique is that because it's not stuck down, you can go ahead and rearrange that multiple times. This gives you lots of options to begin working with. Please, please, please don't forget to take photographs of each development um, because you will be using the photographs at the later stage. For the second part, you are going to have to upload your photographs to your computer. You can do this several ways. You can either plug in your phone or you can email yourself. You can add them to OneDrive and um, however suits you. Okay, go ahead and open up PowerPoint. You're going to want to import one of your photographs so you can see I have just drag and dropped that there. We're going to use the remove background tool. So double click your image and in the top left hand corner, it should appear. Naturally, it will start to pick up what it thinks is the main image and what was the background. There is the little plus symbol, which you can use to add. So any parts in purple that's not been picked up. But then there's also the little minus uh, tool, which allows you to take away parts of the background. Pretty straightforward. So play around with that until you've got a nice clean shape. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to resize it a little bit, rotate it and just get it into a nice starting position. From here, I'm just going to be copying and pasting it and creating my own pattern. I'm going to attempt a mirrored pattern. So copy, paste. In order for it to be mirrored, I need to flip it. So if you double click your image at the top, you should see a rotation option. You're going to flip horizontally. And you can just choose where you want that to be placed, touching further apart, that's completely up to you. You're going to repeat that step, so again, copy and paste. Now, that's really interesting already, the shape that I've created in the middle. I really like what's happened there. I'm going to add a background just to see what this looks like. So using the shape tool, I've just created a box. Think about colours from your mood board. Um, so we'll make sure that it's relevant to your theme. And I've just arranged that so it's moved to the back. You can select any colour, play around with that chart, see which best complements the colours you have chosen to work with. Ooh, too dark. Okay, we're going to now group these individual images. So what you need to do is holding down your shift key, select all the images, right click, and then click on group. This then allows you to move them as one. You can see that I've resized from the corners. Um, please remember to hold in shift, that just keeps the proportions accurate. And then you can play around with whatever scale works for you. I'm copying and pasting and just experimenting till I'm happy with the final outcome. Ta-da! There's your final outcome. So pretty straightforward. Um, from here, you're welcome to go ahead and digitally edit this um, to manipulate the colours, um, or you can then try this process again with another photograph.